Hello and welcome back. So a video I made a while ago about transferring your program folder from your main SSD to a secondary drive turned out to be my most popular video. It's a video that I kind of just made because it was a challenge I was having. I found what I thought was a workaround. And while I didn't fully understand it, I was hoping that it might help someone since I spent hours scouring the internet to try to find this information. And I, the feedback I was getting on it was that it sort of worked. Uh, since then, I've been very fortunate. I've saved up some money, bought myself a bigger hard drive, so I now have a 500 gigabyte uh, SSD. So I don't really have to worry about this so much, but because of the feedback on that video, I've decided that, you know, I've learned more about this topic and I would like to uh, share that. And hopefully you can have better success with what I've learned. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have your drives installed. And just so you know, as I can, uh, before anybody comments that I'm not actually going through the process, as I mentioned, I don't really need this at the moment. You can actually see my drive C. I am starting to get a little bit low. I am at 150. 14 gigabytes free of my, well, it's not actually 500 gigabytes. It's supposed to be 500 gigabytes. It's only 464 uh, usable, but it is what it is. So I do have still enough room to kind of play around, and that's with some heavy uh, programs on here, such as I have the full Adobe suite on here. I have quite a bit of uh, some games that I play more often and actually, you know, care about the quality of it more than some of my others I have on my main drive. Uh, speaking of games, I've gone ahead and went in Steam and altered it so my Steam games do go to a secondary drive. Uh, they go to one called Apps. Uh, I have a lot of programs in here. Most of my programs that I adjusted upon installation to go to the secondary drive. First thing you want to do is you want to go in, you want to name your or format your drive. So let's just say we're going to use E as example. So we're going to copy onto there. So what you want to do is you want to go into your drive here. You find the folders program and program files x86. Now, if you're running 32-bit Windows, then there will only be the program files. You want to copy those two. So you go ahead and copy that. Go over to the drive or destination drive, and you're going to paste it in here. The next step is that you're going to want to open your registry editor. So you can go, uh, you can right-click on the Windows button there. You can go to run and it'll bring you up this here. You can type in your command. So reg edit and it'll bring up this here. So what you're looking for once you've opened your registry editor, what you're looking for is H key local machine. Go ahead and open that up. And next thing you're looking for is software. Then you are going to be looking down, it should be Microsoft. Once you're in Microsoft, you're going to be looking for Windows. So you have Windows, you're going to open that. Then you're looking for current version. So go ahead and open current version. So on these here, you can see all these files here. You're going to want to be changing these. If you look at these and you go to modify, there it says C as the drive. So basically what you want to do is you want to change that to your destination drive. So for example, we were using what I called my apps drive, which is E. So I would therefore change that to E and then hit OK. And you want to do that for all of your files there. Now, if you are running 32-bit, this should be all you have to do. And then you can close out and reboot your system. I do not have a 32-bit system to test it out on. The 64-bit version, I have tried it out and it did work for me. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you do have a 32-bit system and you try this out, let me know how that works out for you. Okay, so 
The next thing, if you are not running 32-bit and you're running 64-bit like I am, the next one you want to look for is this folder here called wow6432node. So you're going to open that up. And again, you're going to be looking for Microsoft. So you want to scroll down, find Microsoft. Then you're looking for Windows. Open that up. And again, current version. So again, here, you're looking at the same thing. When you go to modify here, it says uh, drive C, program files, common files. So you're going to want to change those to your destination drive as well. Again, in my case, it's E. Uh, that we're pretending I'm actually transferring the information to. So you're going to change that to E. Once you've changed all of them, that should be all you have to do. Then you just close this, reboot your system, and you should be good to go. Now, I recommend doing this before you install all of your programs. This just makes it so your programs automatically install to this drive instead of on your uh, C drive. I have tried it with the programs already in there. Some programs did work fine. Some of them, such as Microsoft Office and my Adobe Suite, did not work out. So again, I recommend this before you install all of your software. Perhaps uninstall them and reinstall them. I know it's a lot of work and it's a pain in the butt, but I learned the hard way with this. It was not that easy. Once I screwed it up, I then had to go and figure out which programs were working, which ones weren't, and it was a big mess. The drive on my C, or the folder in my C drive, uh, had some programs in it, and I just couldn't delete them. So that's why I recommend that you do it ahead of time. Um, you know, go with a clean install, reinstall everything, um, obviously back things up to make sure you have a backup um, is always a good idea. In my case, I didn't have a backup because I didn't have the money for a drive. That was the whole point of me doing this. But uh, these days, most software you just download off the internet. So that is what I recommend you do. I hope this video clarifies some things that I missed in my last video, as I was mentioning at the start of this video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe, like, and let me know down in the comments how this worked out for you. If it worked out well, that's great. Let me know. And if you had any challenge with, challenges with it or any issues, as I mentioned with the 32-bit, I wasn't able to test it out. Let me know how that worked out for you. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you later.